Hi guys, my name is Thea. I am a records specialist with the Tigard Police Department. What that means is I work in the records department of the police department and when you come in to talk to somebody or ask help or need a copy of a report, myself or my other four core workers that I work with will help you. We also keep track of um, information that needs to go into different systems, into the DA's office for the officers. It's a fun little place to work. We get to hang out with each other at our computers and listen to things going on in the city while the guys are out there all patrolling. But I am here because I'm going to read a little story for you guys. So I wanna make sure that you've got your stuffed animal to snuggle with. This is Yoda. This is my little stuffed animal. He stays on my bed along with my two doggies. And then I want you guys to get your blankie. Got my blankie here, my soft furry blankie. It's purple. I want you to get all snuggly. Get all snuggly with me, okay. And we are going to read a book called Bernice. This is a book written by Rob Adamowski. I probably pronounced that wrong and I apologize. And it was illustrated by Kelly Boudry. And Kelly illustrated means that it was, the artist is the one that painted all these pretty pictures. And the publisher is Octoram Publishing, and that is the company that actually built and designed the book, like put the pages, printed it out, and everything together. So, to, let's get started reading about Bernice. You guys comfy? I'm comfy. Okay, this is Bernice. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at Bernice. What color? She looks kind of gold and brown. Bernice has a thick brown coat of fur and eyes of gold. And as you will soon see, her story just had to be told. Bernice is very, very big and has a big appetite to match. She'll eat almost anything, but especially likes berries from the fresh patch. There it is. There she is eating her berries. Berries are yummy. What's your favorite berry? I like strawberries. There's raspberries, there's blueberries, but strawberries are my favorite. Bernice has giant paws that make swimming a snap. She scares every fish in the river though when she jumps in with a powerful slap. Look at her big paws there, look at the fish. Oh my goodness, the fish is running away. Ah, she got scared. You might cross her path when out on a walk and when you see her lumbering by, you'll know when, why people talk. They don't mean to crowd, smile, and stare, but they all say the same thing. Oh my gosh, it's a bear. There's Bernice walking in the woods. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty up there. Look at those pretty colors in the fields, the flowers. Now it's true Bernice doesn't understand everything she hears, but not much slips past that her big brown floppy ears. Look at her big ears right there, you guys. Look at her golden eyes, aren't they pretty? It's a bear, they say each and every one. It happens so much, Bernice knows what they'll say before they've even begun. Wow, she's so big, people think she's a bear. It's a bear, it's a bear, it's a furry brown bear, she hears to her dismay even when she's wearing a leash and collar, which is just about every single day. Okay, by now I'll bet you're about ready to holler. Wait just one minute. It's, if Bernice is a bear, then why the big floppy ears? The leash and the collar. What else wears, has big floppy ears, a leash and a collar, you guys? What's your guess? That is Bernice's, uh, owner talking and saying, what, what, why are the big floppy ears unleashing the collar? You're much too smart to be fooled. And as a matter of fact, Bernice is actually a great big dog. I bet you guys guessed that. There she is holding a stick. A Newfie or Newfoundland to be exact. Now that is the type of dog that Bernice is. And later on, I'll show you a real picture of a Newfoundland or Newfie type dog. She doesn't like being called something she's not. It makes Bernice sad and it happens a lot. You know, we don't like being called what we're not. Look, oh, you guys, look, Bernice is sad. She's crying. That's so sad. 
up in the mountains. Ooh, you guys, look at the mountains. Look at the snow, like she's up on Mount Hood. Oh my goodness, playing around in the snow. She's wearing her goggles. You gotta wear your safety goggles when you're out playing in the snow. You gotta wear your safety gear. She doesn't need a coat because she's got lots of fur, but you need a coat when you're out in the snow. And at the beach, even at the doggy park, she's mistaken for a bear and at, she's mistaken for a bear at her favorite places. And it makes her just want to bark. Look, she went to the beach and got all wet. So she's shaking it off. She's shaking it off. Of course she's gonna bark. She's gonna say, that I'm not a bear. That's dog, dog language. Barking is dog language for I am not a bear. Bernice has never seen a bear, but knows they can be very mean and scary. The only similarity she sees is that she's big, brown, and hairy. Now that's a bear. Does that look like Bernice, you guys? No, you're right. It does, that Bernice doesn't look like a bear. However, Bernice is determined. And as sure as bees buzz, she would learn more about bears and what's under their fuzz. She asks her people parents and they quickly reply, bears are quite fantastic, but Bernice wants to know why. They explain that bears are often misunderstood. Her parents see them at the zoo and even deep in the, in, at the circus and even deep in the woods. So here you have a bear at the zoo. Have you guys gone to the Oregon Zoo and seen the bears? Yeah. And then here's a bear at the circus. And then here's a bear in the woods. Now that's the bear you guys have to be very careful of. If you're in the woods, God be careful about watching out for bears. Bears can run, climb, swim, and fish and are really very smart. In the winter, while sleeping beneath the snow, they say bears can even slow down their heart. <gasps> did you know that? I didn't know that. That is amazing. So there is a bear climbing a tree. There is a bear fishing in the river. And there's a bear sleeping. That's what they do. It's called hibernation. It's what they do during the winter. They go to sleep in the, in, in the cave underneath the snow. Suddenly, Bernice feels proud to have such distinguishing features. Bears are really pretty amazing creatures. And here we go, you guys, we're gonna compare. There's Bernice, and there's a bear. Kinda similar, but not quite. Looking different than other dogs is okay with her now. Bernice knows she is different and understands how. Look. There's a little, this looks like a little Dachshund dog or a Dotson. Dotson is actually how you pronounce it. I pronounced it wrong. And there's Bernice. And she's like, woo, I look totally different than this little doggy over here. But that's okay. She says now she's proud about it. As it turns out, people are totally fascinated with bears. Now Bernice feels more like a famous movie star when everyone crowds, smiles, and stares. Oh my gosh, it's a bear. Look at her now, like a movie star. She's got her sunglasses on, she's got her hat. All right, that is the end, you guys. Oh, I told you, I promised you I'd show you a picture of a real Newfoundland, and I'm gonna hopefully you'll be able to see it. This is the author, and look at that doggy. That's a real Newfoundland dog. That's how big they are. Look, and brown, oh my goodness. So if you see a big dog like that out and about, always ask permission if you may pet the dog, never just run up to a dog because you don't know if the dog is gonna be mean or get scared of you and nips you. Always ask permission before run, um, uh, going to pet a dog that you see out on your walk or at the park. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have your little snuggly blanket and your stuffed animal and you guys are ready to go, go to sleep. Thank you for joining me. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.